this video, I wanted to introduce a utility that uh, we created to help migrate and modernize Spring Boot applications. First, what is Spring Boot? Spring Boot is a Java-based framework that is widely used. As you can see from this JRebel uh, survey results, almost 83% of Java developers use Spring Boot framework to build applications. It's been around for almost 20 years now, and a lot of large enterprises use this framework to build and deploy their Java applications in production. So what are the challenges that existing applications might be facing? Having developed Spring Boot applications over a period of 20 years means that they may be running on infrastructure that is dated. It might be leading to performance and scalability issues. When there are requirements of uh, scaling the app to meet high demand in certain uh, time periods, it might be difficult to do that. They may be open to any security threats and may not have been using the latest and greatest security configuration. These are challenges that Spring Boot app developers and maintainers uh, face today. And the benefits of modernizing to a cloud environment address those challenges. In addition, these apps can leverage uh, new techniques and technologies around analytics and machine learning. What Spring ML has done is to build a utility to help migrate these applications to the cloud efficiently. Any large organization has dozens, if not hundreds of such applications, and which is the primary reason why we built this utility to automate the migration of these apps uh, in a timely fashion and in a scalable fashion. This app, which I'm going to demo shortly, provides ability to auto-generate scripts and uh, refactoring code to make it easy for the developers. Let's take a quick look at the demo. Here's the UI for our application. Any Spring Boot app has its configuration in a file called pom.xml. The first thing that a developer or an administrator needs to do is to drag and drop their pom.xml into this uh, UI. So let me do that. I'm going to drop the pom.xml here and then click on start migration. When I do this, the tool is introspecting this particular file and it comes back with the list of services that need to be migrated or modernized. So for example, in this particular application, we are using uh, MySQL for as a database and RabbitMQ for messaging. The equivalent services in Google Cloud are Cloud SQL and PubSub. The developer can choose to migrate these components to Cloud. They can also leave some of these as is or unchecked so that they can be uh, migrated to the same MySQL environment in the cloud. In addition to those services, a developer can add additional uh, services that are offered in Google Cloud. For example, if they wanna uh, introduce cloud storage, they can include that as part of the migration utility. Lastly, they'll need to select a runtime engine. There are many options offered in Google Cloud where a Spring Boot app can be executed. Here I'm choosing Kubernetes. And once I click Next, the Terraform scripts are auto-generated. Um, the user, the developer can download these scripts. And um, here's, let me open this Terraform script here. It provides a starter script that the developers and administrators can configure to meet their requirements. 